Vertical Chamber Assembly Instructions Begin your setup by laying out all your parts. Once you've surveyed and verified you have all your parts, you are ready to begin. Connect your power cords to the three powered units. From right to left, you have the compressor, the dehumidifier, and the oxygen concentrator. Make sure the connections are secure. Connect them to a power outlet. Connect the blue air hose to the oxygen concentrator. Hand tighten only. Connect one of the clear hoses to the output port of the compressor. Depress locking ring and insert hose. Release ring for proper and secure fit. Connect the other end of the hose to the wet air in port on the dehumidifier. Depress locking ring. Insert hose and release the ring. Connect the other clear hose to the dry air out port on the dehumidifier. Leave the other end of the clear hose free for now. Bring out two bolsters and insert all the foam pieces. Bring out your chamber and unfold between the two bolsters. Remove protective plastic wrap from gauges and valves inside and outside of chamber. This is important as the plastic will block airflow. Now install the two pressure gauges. Notice one has larger threads than the other. Place the larger threaded gauge inside the chamber as shown on the black connector. Hand tighten only. Zip up all three zippers from the inside out. Place the smaller threaded gauge outside of the chamber on the blue connector as shown. Turn the airflow valve to close on the outside of the chamber as shown. Connect the blue air hose from the oxygen concentrator to the outside of the chamber as shown. Depress locking ring, insert hose, and release the ring. Connect the free clear air hose from the dehumidifier to the outside of the chamber as shown. Turn on dehumidifier and air compressor as shown to inflate the chamber. While the chamber is inflating, lay out internal frame pieces and black connectors and pre-assemble them as shown. You want to place a black connector onto both ends of the straight cross member bars and onto both ends of the middle frame pieces as shown. Do not assemble the frame on the outside of the chamber. This is only a demonstration of what it will look like on the inside. Understand that the frame pieces are laid out from right to left in order from largest to smallest or from rear of chamber to front of chamber. You will notice the ends of each connector have a locking nut that will secure the connection. As you see the frame put together, you will notice the rear side pieces have mounts for the crossbars. Before you connect the small front end frame pieces to the middle sections, make sure you identify the left and right pieces. You will be able to identify them by their shape. Looking at the straight bars, the shorter length goes on the floor of the chamber. You will also notice the continued downward angle with the longer straight bar at the top. You will also want the four short metal male pieces for connecting the crossbars pointing at each other. Thank you.
Once chamber is fully inflated, confirmed by audible and physical airflow exiting the chamber. Turn off the dehumidifier and compressor and turn air valve to open. This will deflate the chamber. Important. Always wait until the gauge hits zero to unzip the chamber. Unzip and open the chamber. Place all pre-assembled frame pieces inside. Bring in all additional connectors in case you need a replacement. Turn on the dehumidifier and compressor. Close the external airflow valve. Get inside the chamber and zip up all three zippers. The outer first, then the middle, and the innermost last. Let the chamber inflate before you begin your inside assembly of the frame. First put together the large rear frame pieces. The key here is to place the three connecting bars in position with the double at the bottom and the single at the top. Remember to secure the locking nuts on the black connectors to hold your frame together. Connect the middle sections to the rear frame. Next you connect the small frame pieces to the middle sections and end with connecting the two crossbars. Use your feet and hands to push frame pieces and chamber material into place if needed. Once frame is assembled, open the internal airflow valve as shown and deflate the chamber. Important! Wait until the gauge hits zero pressure to open the chamber. Exit the chamber and turn off the dehumidifier and compressor. Place padded mat into chamber and position evenly. Place the adjustable chair into chamber as shown. The chair can be used in various positions from fully reclined to sitting up. Install air filter inside of the chamber as shown. This will be placed on the opposite side of the clear hose bringing air into the chamber. Assemble nasal cannula as shown. The nasal cannula will deliver supplemental oxygen from the oxygen concentrator. You will place the airflow ports just below the nostrils to receive the supplemental mixture of air and oxygen. You can adjust the flow as you wish. Attach the other end of the nasal cannula to the air delivery port inside of the chamber as shown. Depress locking ring and insert hose. Release the ring for proper and secure fit. Your chamber is now ready for use. Thank you for your business. Please contact us for any questions or assistance at 888-537-7087.